you want to make a team decision and you want to make it fairly so that it is agreeable to most people. Well, I've only just come across the uh, Teams Polls app and the ranking poll. Didn't quite get what it was about, but now I do. Um, this is a good way to be able to make a team decision. So I have set up the poll. Um, I've created it in a Teams meeting. At the moment, this is where the Teams, uh, the Polls app uh, can support things like the ranking poll and various other choices. Not quite yet available when adding it to something like a conversation or a channel conversation in a team. Um, so I have set that up. Let's just take a look at it. Um, it is in the polls app now that it's added there and I set it as draft so that I can launch it during the meeting. So I'm going to just uh, go in there and launch it now. Uh, what I had done was I had set it up so that it would shuffle the answers so that while uh, I had created it in this order that it is also just different on everyone else's experience so that the order of the choices isn't influenced by or won't influence the outcome. Um, and so this is all about ranking. It's about dragging things. So I'm going to make some deliberate choices to try and get to a result so we can see it. Um, I will vote Korean barbecue to start with. Um, I like Thai. I'm going to go with steakhouse and then seafood. I'm going to make um, Thai a second choice here for Elizabeth as well. So this is Elizabeth, different person. Uh, Korean barbecue, yep, that's fine. Um, we'll put Thai as a top choice for Matt and we'll leave everything else the same. And then uh, we'll put Thai as a second choice. Right. So we've dragged in the different order of, of what we prefer and you can transfer this of course to other more serious decisions um, but it's a good way to to do this right so what happens when we submit these I'll submit mine to start with so this of course is going to show the results for me as I voted and I can see it one two three four based on my order uh, when we submit Laura's um, votes um, it's going to have Ty in its second ranking and what comes out on top here based on that so based on both of our choices um, I liked Korean barbecue it was a bit further down um, Laura's list but we had Ty in common and Steakhouse in common so let's why we've got all three <laughs> Uh, let's see what this uh, produces here with Matt. So Ty is his first choice. And so based on that ordering, it actually bumps Ty up. And then lastly with Elizabeth. So Ty is her second choice. And so you see how it affects the results. Now this means that maybe it's not about voting and counting all the votes for the most popular one, but it's actually arriving at a better decision, a fairer decision, because it's taken priorities. Um, our second choice, what was more in common, and who chose it as their first choice, and it bumps it up based on those points um, or differences. So that's why it arrived at tie as a most common choice between us all, and it's going to arrive at a fairer decision that I think most of us really agree with. So consider the ranking poll for a good decision-making tool in your team's meetings. I hope to see this type of poll pop up in other places too like conversations and maybe even places like Microsoft Loop being able to embed it there and running a poll um, but yeah consider that as a, a good decision making tool in your next team's meeting